So we will see you then. Thank you. Tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of devastating flooding in Johnson County. Four people died when high water washed away homes and roads that day. The Flat Gap community was hardest hit. Today, WKYT's Mike Lennon returned to Johnson County and talked to a flood survivor. Terry Stapleton has lived in Flat Gap his entire life. This October will be 58 years. Before his father passed away a few years ago, he said something to Terry that stuck with him. One of these days, Mud Lick will run heel to heel. Boy, was he right. This is Mud Lick Creek. Looks pretty calm, right? Because this is what it looks like normally throughout the year. Stapleton says he's seen it rise up and out of its banks in the past and into his backyard, but he's never seen it rise as high as it did a year ago. The floodwaters quickly made their way into Terry's home. The house broke apart in seconds. And there's about a 20 by 20 piece of my roof, flat. I jump on it and away I go. Terry says he woke up almost a mile from his house. He was reunited with his wife, but not his dog. I would catch myself hollering, Maggie, Maggie. She was a house dog, a teacup Yorkie. It's been one year since the flood, but Terry, his wife, and his two dogs still live in Flat Gap at the same spot along the same creek, and he wouldn't have it any other way. I'm sure I would go on and adapt somewhere else, but I know nothing else from Flat Gap. I, that, that's I was born and raised right here. Terry says the flood has made him stronger and taught him a valuable life lesson. There's hope. There is tomorrow. I mean, we're not promised tomorrow, but if there is a tomorrow, there's hope. In Johnson County, Mike Linden, WKYT. Officials called last year's flash flooding a once in a 500 year event. It caused damage to a 10 to 12 mile stretch in Johnson County.